In this video, we'll take a quick look at problem number 38 from out of section 2.6. And this is something that seems ridiculous when you first read the question. We have a function, cosine of x. Simple function, we've seen it a bunch of times. We want to find the 77th derivative of that function, and we also want to find the 120th derivative of that function. Now, if we had x to the fifth, and we wanted to find the 77th derivative, that's not a big deal because take enough derivatives of that and it's going to eventually become a zero. Your 77th derivative is going to be a zero. Your 120th derivative is going to be a zero. So it wouldn't be a big deal if f were a polynomial. But check out what happens when you start computing derivatives of cosine. The first derivative of cosine is negative sine. The second derivative of cosine would be the derivative of this. So I have a negative 1 as the coefficient, and then the derivative of sine is cosine. The third derivative, and usually we don't ever show more than three primes on a derivative. So for the fourth derivative, whenever we compute it, I'm going to kind of adopt the notation that was used on this 77th derivative up here. But I have a negative in the previous derivative, so I'm just going to copy that negative down. And then the derivative of cosine would be negative sine and then that would simplify to positive sine of x. And then a fourth derivative here, derivative of sine, would actually take us back to cosine. So we're back to the function. So if we went ahead and we computed a fifth derivative, we'd get this, sixth derivative, seventh derivative, eighth derivative, ninth derivative, 10th derivative, 11th derivative, and so on. So what you can try to do here is you can try to figure out what part in this pattern you'd be stuck on for the 77th derivative and the 120th derivative. So basically any derivative that's divisible by 4 is going to give you cosine. 77 is not divisible by 4. But if you think about a number near 77 that is divisible by 4, it would be 76. So the 76th derivative will be cosine the 77th derivative will be back to negative sine. So the 77th derivative here, even though we haven't computed all 77 derivatives, we developed a pattern, we're exploiting the pattern, we're going to be able to say that the 77th derivative is going to be equal to negative sine of x. Now 120 we're a little bit luckier with because 120 is divisible by 4, and since 120 is divisible by 4, our derivative is going to be just cosine of x. So our 120th derivative is going to be equal to cosine of x.